It comes from George Knott. Is democracy in danger when politicians avoid facing questions from citizens in public forums such as this? Greg Sheridan. Well, look, I, I, <laughs> let, me, let me exercise my sort of seer-like quality. I suspect you're making a reference to Barnaby Joyce uh, uh, and declining to come. Look, um, I think I'd just say two things about that. One is, Tony, it's a fantastic opportunity for you to explore the magnificent talent on the Coalition backbench now. And, and a lot of backbenchers, a lot of backbenchers that you used to have on this show, um, Josh Frydenberg and um, uh, Kelly yeah, O'Dwyer, yeah, yeah. you know, won great promotion yeah, by coming know. on your show. But look, the other point, I, I do think the government is mistaken not to come on this show. I do think it's mistaken. I'd say if I can analyse this, Tony, crudely as if you're not here. The politics of it were the ABC made a mistake with Zaki Muller and everyone recognises that. Dear God, I'd hate to be, you know, absolutely condemned for every mistake I've made in 40 <laughs> years of journalism. But the government is now in danger of making the sympathy flow against it, making itself the issue. All it needed to do was say, you've been very naughty, the ABC, and we're very disappointed in you, and let community sentiment express itself and move on. So I think it's a pity, and I was looking forward to seeing Barnaby here tonight, but I'm, I'm consoled by having Richard here instead. <laughs> <laughs> well, Richard was going to be here anyway. He was going to be here anyway. Larissa uh, Waters will be And here. Larissa too, of course. Thanks, Greg. Um, great question, George, and I think it's a real shame that we don't have government front benches or back benches here to face your questions as they should in a robust democracy. Um, it's been a huge overreaction, in my view, by the Abbott government and by the Prime Minister in particular to the, the show two weeks ago. Um, he's flogging a dead horse two weeks on and he's now issuing a decree that his front benches aren't allowed to come on a show. Um, I, Clearly he's wanting to distract from talking about other issues and what a shame we don't have Barnaby on tonight. We could have asked him about his agricultural white paper and the fact that it continues to completely ignore climate change or the fact that he seems to think that um, marriage equality is somehow decadent. I would have liked to have um, heard his responses to the questions people would have no, no doubt asked about that. Um, but I think the Abbott government is attacking um, the ABC because it doesn't like the ABC. Mm. We've seen the funding for the mm. ABC generally uh, slashed by this government. Um, we know that this government doesn't like uh, transparency and it likes to... Um, silence those who try to criticise it. You've seen the withdrawal of funding from all sorts of community groups and environment groups who have spoken out against the um, attacks that this government has wrought on various areas of social policy and environmental policy. I think this is just yet another example of the Abbott government not liking criticism and wanting to silence the public broadcaster for being independent rather than for somehow being a champion for the Abbott government's regime. Okay, let's go